Hi students, I try in this educational video to technologically explain how to size the thickness of a spherical shell in a pressure vessel subjected to external pressure, based on the American calculation code ASME. Of course, I'll try to explain this issue as simply and as clearly as possible. Okay, let's go. Well, the sizing of the thickness of a spherical shell subjected to external pressure is based on the ASME Section A Division 1 UG-28. We have a design procedure that the step one is about the determination of a certain factor A. And the factor, and the factor A here is determined by the formula that you see now in the slide. Uh, RO here refers to the outer radius of the spherical shell. And T is a pre-selected thickness, uh, and we can take uh, here the, th the required thickness uh, of the spherical shell when it is subjected to internal pressure. Now, the step two of this design procedure is about the determination of a certain factor B, based on the ASME section 2, part T, subpart 3, figure CS. And the determination of this factor B uh, is uh, carried out uh, with the same procedure as for cylindrical shells and tubes. And I explained this in a previous video that you can see the link in the box description. Now, the step three of this design procedure is about the determination of a certain maximum allowable external pressure denoted by PA. And in this step, we have two cases. The case one is when the factor A falls to the right of the applicable material temperature line. And I explained this issue in the considerate previous video that you can see the link in the box description. And uh, in this case, we can uh, easily determine the factor B and based on this factor B, we can determine the maximum allowable external pressure using the formula, the formula that you see now on the left of the of this slide and uh, the second case is when the factor a falls to the left of the applicable material temperature line and in this case uh, it's impossible to determine the factor b and the, so the maximum allowable external pressure pa is determined without uh, the factor b using the formula that you see now on the right of this slide and uh, it's to note here that E refers to the, uh, the elasticity modulus of the material. Finally, the step 4 is about comparison and decision. We will compare the, apply, the applied external pressure P to the maximum allowable external pressure PA. And we have two cases. Uh, the case 1 is when the applied external pressure P is less than the maximum allowable pressure PA and in this case uh, the resistance is verified with the current shell thickness so it's okay but in the second case uh, we can have the applied external pressure P higher than the maximum allowable external pressure PA in this case uh, the resistance is not verified with the current shell thickness and we have to select a larger value for the thickness of the shell and repeat the design procedure until uh, reaching the condition P less than PA. This educational video takes end. Please mention all your remarks and suggestions in the comments. Thank you very much for your attention.